A very Merry Christmas Eve, video number two today. My name is Jack. That will stop shaking in just about a second. Here we go. All right. Second product review today. We're doing a seeds review. That's a Home Depot program for their product reviewers. I got this product for free just to provide my review on it. I can be terminated from their program at any time, just as long as I keep providing reviews of value. So if you can like or subscribe, if you get anything out of this, I'd appreciate it. I'm not really trying to make money off this channel, but regardless, this is the Crescent 10 inch, um, sorry, they call it the tongue and groove pliers with the V-jaw. Yeah, it came in the nice blister pack, we'll take it right out. All right, so lots to share with you on this tool. Let's start with the most unique feature of all. Um, they call this zone here, I'm going to open it up a little bit so I can line it up. Sorry about that. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Yeah, they call it the non-marring zone. So let's say that you're working in a bathroom on a sink fixture or a shower head and you uh, wanted to loosen that up without affecting something like, let's say, a very high polished surface finish. And you're probably not going to be working like with stainless steel like what's in my hand. Maybe you'll deal with like a chrome finish as opposed to a solid piece of stainless. My point, right, is that you can grip right onto that and crank away. So I'm actually trying to oppose myself right now. It's really not slipping. So I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's a unique feature that uh, is surprising to say that I don't think that's existed till now. Maybe you'll go ahead and use your channel locks um, with like a towel under them, but I still would suggest that once you clamp down, you may be putting that uh, surface finish at risk for your nice, uh, nice pipe. So that's one thing, of course, we're here to really talk about the entire assembly. So I would like to point out that there are eight zones total in between, yeah? And each one of them lock into place. So if you're not careful, you can see me struggling a little bit because I'm mostly paying attention to the camera. Um, but yeah, eight different locking zones. It's a two and one eighth capacity jaw. Um, would point out to you that there are like the various different portions of the jaw, as well as like a little bit of cutaways. So what they boast here is that even at a 35 degree angle, so let's say you're not like perfectly on your, like let's say you're at a 35 degree angle that you have still great gripping strength. Um, they also boast about just how thin this truly is for getting into smaller areas. Um, I happen to think that the appearance is awesome. Um, it's, a, it's a small thing, but hey, you know, it's in your tool bag. You wanna be proud of what you're carrying around, especially if you're a working professional. You got the nice black matte black finish with the high polish alloy steel. Um, Looks really nice. As far as the rest of the handle that I didn't talk too much about yet, it's got the rubberized textured grip that you're really not gonna let go. You got the tether ready base. Don't think I'd ever actually use that, but um, lifetime warranty. This one I think is a was a made in Viet, actually product of Vietnam and then finished in China, if anybody particularly cares about that. These are not electrically insulated hand tools for you electricians out there. And um, before I regret not checking, that um, I mostly, mostly covers it. I'm very happy with this tool. I would recommend that you go ahead and you purchase it. Um, just to put one other thing out there is that the Z2 series is Crescent's uh, top of the line for pliers, and it definitely is made for pros. So uh, if you get it, hope you like it, and hope this review helped you. Take care.